We have the one problem. But let's see what's inside. <laughs> we did something stupid. Can wait, man. I can sleep. Today we're gonna prepare our trip to uh, Spain. Uh, we are gonna show you everything we bought and everything we need to start this race season on the supermoto. Our plan is to train as much as possible and then uh, this season uh, starts with the first race on the supermoto. Let's go first to uh, the Hornbach and spend some more money. We have one problem. Um, as you can see the back is pretty packed. So I hope the boxes that will include our next stuff are not too big. But I am afraid it will be uh, tricky. But let's see. We need uh, a generator, I didn't know what the word was in English. Some uh, duct tape and some jerry cans for gasoline. This is water. So the jerry can is you don't want to get uh, be, uh, be dry. We need a generator because for the Supermoto we also have new tire heaters, warmers. We don't have always gasoline on the track, oh, sorry, electricity on the track. That's why we need a generator, so we always have uh, electricity. But uh, I'm not sure if the one is here that I'm looking for. Yeah, so unfortunately the generator wasn't in stock, so I have to order it. But luckily we have enough time. Yeah, and I think that it, it wouldn't fit in the car. So maybe it's, uh, <laughs> it's fine this way. But uh, you have to do your gordel. Shit, man, shit. <laughs> Now let's go to the bikes. Vorig jaar had ik een lamp aan laten staan, het is kapot gegaan. Oh nee joh, is weer kapot. We're gonna get uh, all the stuff that I bought. Show us uh, the stuff. Tickets number one. Yeah, you stay inside, huh? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so. In uh, two and a half weeks we're leaving for Spain because we're leaving to Spain and we don't know what parts we can get there. We want it to be prepared as much as possible. So all the parts that we need, I'm gonna show you. Yeah, we bought tires. Uh, we're gonna use Metzler K1 tires. They are soft tires. Yeah, we have a bunch of them. For me and Joost for the, for the whole season. We don't know how much tires we're gonna use. I can say that the tires will be the most expensive part of uh, riding supermoto because compared to pit bikes or other smaller bikes, they are uh, not very durable. But I'm very curious uh, for the grip. Beside of the slicks, we also have rear tires, rear and front. Yeah, and I have a lot of packages and I want to show you uh, what we bought to be prepared. I'm curious too because I didn't open the packages yet. So let's see what's inside. It's important that all the parts that are possible can bend or break like brake levers, footsteps and also for example the steering, the steers, yeah I said the right, steers. Hand guards. Yeah, this was a tip from uh, the guy who sold the bikes to us. Uh, the hand guards because they save you a lot of other damage, but but they break. They are not. They are only plastic, so there is not much uh, metal inside. Uh, but then we have footsteps because uh, yeah, on the pit bikes, this was the part that I had to replace uh, the most. Brake pads. Brake pads you have to change them quite often. I thought we bought carbon brake pads. The thing is with carbon brake pads, they need to warm up longer. So first two laps you need to warm them up. But they break better when they are warm. So that's why we chose them. Braking is fear, you know, so uh, brake uh, less. And when you brake, brake very hard. That's the way to go. So more of them. Shift lever, this is for the for the brake. It's not expensive, but when you are in Spain and you crash and this breaks down, and you didn't bought it, but it's only 10 euros, I think, or 15 euros. Yeah, you will uh, 
feel very sorry for yourself that you didn't buy it. Yeah, for your information, rear tires are quite expensive. Tires, normal slick tires are also quite expensive. You can say 400 euros for one set. We know we try to do everything with a budget. Um, but supermotor riding is more expensive than we did last year. So we're very happy that we can afford it for this year with the help of some uh, sponsors. But yeah, keep in mind, racing is always expensive. Supermotor riding is more expensive than we did. It's still less expensive than the big tracks because we stay on the karting tracks. So a track day will cost around uh, 40 to 50 euros a day. The bikes are bigger, better. Um, and uh, the parts are more expensive. But I can tell you it's worth it. The first part, the brake disc for the front, brake disc for the back, the sprockets for the back, all small parts to uh, make it fit on the wheel. Nice bolts. This is, uh, yeah, I think one of the most exciting things. Rims, to tell you, a full set of rain tires with the rims and all the small parts that you need to get it fit on the bike. It's almost the same as a, as a pit bike. <laughs> and, and now we are talking about wheels, another complete bike. Yeah, we're Dutch and we need to pre be prepared for rain. Let's see. Ooh. Really nice, yeah. beautiful stuff, man. So when you start riding supermoto, you have to make sure your tires are, are warm. It's a one-cylinder engine, quite aggressive on the throttle. Cold tires, you will lose the rear very quick. Yeah, that's why it's very smart, let's say that way, to use tire heaters, especially when you're going to race because the first two laps are crucial in the race and you want to feel trusty, want to feel trust in the tires. So that's why we uh, yeah, also bought tire heaters. And that's why I was looking for the generator because we want electricity at all tracks. And pressing uh, on the supermoto is less fun than on the small one. Uh, we, did, we did something stupid. Nah, not very stupid. The pit bikes didn't have a uh, battery because there was no electric uh, start. Now the, the supermotors have a battery inside. So we stalled them for a few months now. We didn't put a charger on them, so the battery died. So we had to buy a battery charger to keep the batteries alive. The uh, lithium, lithium, is it also in English lithium? Yes, lithium. Before we go to Spain, we're gonna charge the batteries. Take some uh, nice uh, beer with us for uh, on the road. No, or in the evening when we arrive at the hotel. And wait, man, I can't sleep normal because I want to ride. I, I bought, bought these bikes and I still haven't ridden them for a few months. And uh, only two and a half weeks and then finally, finally we will be uh, riding them. Every day we will train something else. We will focus on training, training, training and be as fast as possible in one week. We're gonna show you how we are doing it. We're gonna show you what we are learning. We're gonna show you how much faster we get by training a full week on the supermoto. And along the way, we will keep training to do other races on the smaller bikes. And in summer, we're gonna do our first races uh, on the supermoto. So yeah, mark my words. We're gonna bring home some trophies for the full throttle brothers. Yeah, join us on this journey.